Hello and welcome to City Skylines. I'll be your host Vasquez and today we are starting a new city on this beautiful beautiful map. So the first thing I want to show you is that I already created a small grid system where I want to build my city. And guys, this city build is going to be different than I usually do. This grid system and this entire city that I'm building is going to be no mods and no assets because I'm playing this game for a very very long time and first thing I need to do when I start a city is go to the steam and search for mods and assets so I decided to do something different and I will play this game completely free of any mod or any asset so I am playing this like I started today to play this game so we already started the game and uh, first houses are going to be built so you can see that I have some money problem here. This is the first challenge that I need to uh, have on this game because I'm used to have unlimited resources with money, with uh, uh, forest, with oil, with everything. So this is going to be a big change for me. And another reason why I want to do this challenge is because lately my PC was unable to cope with amount of mods and assets that I installed so the game was pretty much unplayable so I wanted to show you guys that you can have a beautiful city and a beautiful uh, creation even though you don't have a strong PC who can push uh, I don't know 500 600 600 assets so you can uh, create city without it and the first challenge here is to start earning money because we are having an issue that is uh, not very good and you can see that my electricity problem is here because they are not connected and yeah I think this uh, this challenge is going to be pretty much fun to I wanted to see which are the limits when you build a game without any mod or any asset or maybe you are using a team. So I'm very very interested to see uh, how can I build this city and make it beautiful and efficient enough so I can cope with the big traffic and the problems and the challenges that I have. Of course I want to fulfill every challenge on this game that I have now because you can see that everything is locked and I don't have any money and I think uh, it's going to be very very interesting to build uh, a very good road system and to have it efficient and to look beautiful without any mod because uh, I think I'm using a lot of mods when I build my roads especially uh, the thing where you can just click on the road and move it on your desire uh, I'm, I think the mod is called move it and I I'm using it a lot and it's a big challenge for me how will I manage to do the city without using any kind of mod or any kind of asset so the biggest uh, advantage of this game the city skylines is the steam workshop because you can pretty much download anything you have on that steam workshop and I think it, it is a really really good idea and it's making this game very very good and I'm starting to uh, grow this city a little bit and I'm starting to earn some money finally and uh, I'm challenging here I want to grow it slowly yes it's only a couple hundred people now but you can see that I'm having issues even to uh, connect my cities and uh, to develop my infrastructure with water and electricity I need to save money on everything so it, it is a difficult start definitely but it's not that difficult we can survive of course and another thing I, I need to say is uh, when we are going to build a metro system and a train system uh, for the pu public transport I think it is going to be a fun challenge to see what can I do there because uh, let's face it we are all using all different uh, mods maybe traffic manager is something that a lot of people is using because you can switch your traffic lights or move some things that you don't want and it's making your life much much easier on this game 
so it is a fun fun way to do i think this is going to be a pretty good guide for uh, people who are just bought the game and started to play it the city is slowly booming we are having more and more people living in it and uh, the city is growing of course but uh, still we have a money issue as you can see we are not in the good state yes we are earning but i in the start lose a couple of couple of thousand dollars so i can't build my electricity now and congratulations it's a little helmet okay this is good because we can now a uh, place elementary school a medical and the garbage system we can finish let's see what we else can have it's a police station and a fire department so I need money to build all of that stuff but luckily I have uh, $20,000 or 20,000 units however you want to call it. It, it it was just in time because now I can develop my electricity and I'm finally in a good state with the money but the first thing we need to do is try to uh, make the city even bigger because we are earning money by having more people and more business so it's really really simple like that and I will just place more of these uh, water pipes because I want to have more people here and let's place like this okay this is nice looking good let's uh, invite more people to live here this is going to be our residential zone and let's go and make something like this oh, let's see okay can we connect because I want to uh, move my industry uh, further from the living area I needed to build it that close because it was uh, a problem for me in the beginning I didn't have much money to have my industry uh, way back where I wanted because I couldn't connect to water and electricity it was a big big issue so I have I have enough money to build something for this city maybe a school or a medical but I'm thinking the garbage system is going to be in need because I see a couple of places that are now critical with the garbage so let's place a land site uh, I will place it uh, on my industrial area, of course, right over there on the second roundabout because I do not want to have uh, my garbage near the city. If you're playing this game for the first time, this is a smart move. Just move it from your city in the beginning and let's go like, like that. It's okay. It is going to be perfect. There is no need for electricity or water and the garbage trucks are moving into the city and they are going to collect the garbage of course I have 9,000 units or money whatever you want to call it I will call it money and uh, I need to build a school school is very important in this game let's just place a couple of residential areas over here because if you have well educated people you can have offices and they can work in offices so there is no need for a simple jobs in industrial and they can uh, have a job in the office and the office of course not polluting and this is a good thing and let's go let's see maybe here i i want to build it on the main road this is a good spot i can uh yeah this is good good spot i will build it on the main road and after i receive my uh, pedestrian roads i will connect uh, with my pedestrian roads but i need to have more citizens and everybody is now going to the school look at this 187 this is a good good thing and everybody is red now because nobody went to school <laughs> it's simple yeah the next thing i should build is probably more electricity because now i'm in a issue uh electricity is not standing very very good and if i want to increase my production and increase in my industrial area I will need to have more electricity so I'm starting to move my industrial area where I wanted to uh, it, it is right here let's see the happiness it, it is okay for the beginning import and export okay we are, we are okay and people are sick you can see down there because uh, in industry is too close to the city and I need to move that let's see the public school it is okay people are moving in we are at 700 people 
let's add a couple of more residential areas and I don't have enough for the medical because I need that to build my industry area is causing me issues so let's try to delete a couple of those and let's do something like this to be connected with electricity and let's add a couple of more over here of course I will need to increase this area even more as we have more people moving into the city and let's delete a couple of more buildings on this side because I, I didn't want to be built in this area in the first thing I want my industry to be here near the railroad because it can uh, export and import the goods so let's build another area here and add more industries okay let's connect our industry area with the water it's looking very very nice so far and I am a little short to have my medical but let's increase this area over here and of course decrease our industrial potential on this side so let's build more people to live on this side school is okay for now and I finally have enough money to put medical and uh, let's place it on the main, ro main road as you can see everybody is happy and I didn't connect that with water so I need to fix that just in a second and let's delete more of industry as you can see I have water issues because I decreased my budget for it so let's move something like this and you can see that I'm having now electricity problem but I can't build any electricity because I don't have money I need 6,000 money for it I only have four so it is going to be uh, very fast let's connect and spend a little bit of money for the medical so it can work that's good we have now medical and we now have a small problem with electricity because we need to fix that uh, let's look at the road system just for a second we are seeing that everything is working just fine even though these are not the biggest roads but I think the entrance and the exit from the city is working very very good the industry is here and the small city is growing day by day and I'm really really happy for this start because I didn't play a long time where I need to worry for every single thing now we have money to build another uh, electricity power source so okay this is a nice step we are now a birthday village so this is going to help us buy a new land and have industry specializations so this is very very good for a start we can grow our industry and our city so I think this is enough for the first episode and if you like this challenge without any mod or any asset you can subscribe to the channel and watch the other episodes so thank you so much for joining me and uh, bye everybody